Hey guys, I'm Lenny, and today I'd like to talk about how to make easy and safe money in Arcage. I'm gonna be talking about uh, Eastern Faction, which is called Arania. Uh, some of the stuff might be useful for Western Faction as well, but uh, the locations are gonna be Eastern. I'm gonna try to go real fast through it, so uh, here it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about how I made the money that I'm making right now or how I achieved my goals so you can decide for yourself it's, if it's a good idea or a bad idea I started playing uh, Arcage and I have leveled up using the quest system uh, at around level 30 you can do uh, you can start doing trade runs I didn't know about that so I reached level 52 before I realized you can trade <laughs> and then I have uh, I had enough money to afford the farm card. So people from my guild suggested that I should start doing trade runs. So I listened to them and I built the farm card for around 250 gold. It was fairly cheap and um, I have started looking for locations where I could uh, start doing my trade runs. And one of them that looked decent was Silent Forest. Falkorf is the longest route uh, along the safest zones. In all of these zones you cannot be attacked so your packs are pretty much safe. There are ways people will and uh, people can and will try to <laughs> steal your packs but if you're smart enough you won't have to deal with them at all. Um, so the trade run is uh, from Silent Forest from this uh, specialty workbench. I'm selling dried fruit packs which are made out of milk and uh, puri. Uh, you can cut through here. This is a shortcut in Silent Forest. Then you proceed to Villanel where you go through Lutsong Harbor down south to Mahadevi. There's no shortcut in Mahadevi. You just go through Poacher's Watch into Tiger Spine. In uh, Tiger Spine you can cut through here along this lake, across this bridge, and then here. This is pretty cool shortcut. Uh, there are tigers and some mobs along the way, but eh, whatever, they won't kill you. And then you enter Falkorth. And in Falkorth you can cut through here to there. There's like a tower, uh, so we are aiming for the right tower. And along it, there's Kalina, Gold Trader. That's your goal. That's where you're going. So, um, these packs are worth 10 gold each. And with my farm card, I was able to deliver 3 at the same time, or at once. Which was a decent amount of gold, given I haven't been making any money uh, before. So I was happy about that. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna build the farm wagon right away. Nope. Uh, it cost me around 400, from 400 to 600 gold to upgrade my farm card to the farm wagon. So it took me a while to achieve that. But with farm wagon you can carry 5 packs at once. So you're making even more money. But you're making even more money just to be able to afford even higher cost of another upgrade, which is the hauler upgrade. I'm sorry. Uh, you can you can see that you need some sort of certificate, which is kind of weird. Um, but my suggestion is you don't buy it off the in-game store because it's super expensive. That's uh, 3.5k credits. You can buy it off the auction house. I bought it for 1.2k gold, and. Um, it was super fun to finally be making so much money from the from the hauler because you can carry seven bags at once, and uh, the hauler is even faster than the farm wagon and farm cart. So instead of doing uh, Silent Forest to Falkorth in uh, 32 minutes, in around 30, 32, I was uh, making it in 26. So that that was nice, um, and I could make like three runs per day. So. 210 gold just from trade runs. Um, another thing is that you're getting these lo loyalty tokens and uh, 
you should be selling well if you want to make money you should be selling them and the way you sell them is uh, you buy what is it you buy workers compensation potions and you sell them on the auction house uh, they should go around for for around six uh, 60 or 70 gold if not you can actually buy something more more expensive but uh, sometimes it's worth to check it out there's a lucky sunpoint gem or crystal or whatever and sometimes you can sell those uh, for a higher price than the worker compensation potions I cannot find it but it's somewhere there <laughs> uh, it may be maybe here I don't know um, they may they are making changes changes to the gems right now so they might be yeah whatever uh, but sell your loyalty that's another source of money easy source of money uh, you can get loyalty by clicking these each hour uh, 30 per day and you get you get five loyalty tokens uh, per per day per login so oh that reminds me <laughs> that's another way to make money and uh, another way is uh, when you buy the first patron to speed things up you actually buy it for uh, EU or I bought it for EU and uh, I've realized that I accidentally got it on my North American account so those accounts are shared and I got the same benefits here so right here what I started doing is uh, I'm mining this alt is just my slave, mining slave and I'm selling the stone I mine so right now I got quite a lot of stone uh, so I should actually sell it and you can make decent money uh, by just doing the simplest work ever <laughs> make sure you check the prices beforehand because sometimes people put just one raw stone or whatever item uh, for a super cheap and those who don't notice and just right click here and set the price accordingly they will lose they will lose a lot of money so by selling stone I made enough money to afford uh, one apex and by apex I mean an item that's gonna help me to get patron for the next month uh, at the same time on European server I got another apex from trade runs so I was set for another month of patron in around I guess two weeks uh, from just beginning the game having no knowledge about it and uh, just growing at this point I can make enough money on the European server so I can get patron status in five days by just making doing trade runs and I'm not accounting for my North American North American account I'm not accounting for my other accounts or any other ways of income because you can get quite a lot of money by doing merit quests sometimes you can get up to 50 gold for doing these and uh, if you get a good party you can actually d do them this is my alt account so I'm not doing much uh, here I just mine but on my main I I tend to do a lot of stuff so that's how I made money that's um, how I am making money and uh, I like that you're not risking anything you can that's like guaranteed income for you so there are other ways you can get more money by risking a little bit but this is what I do uh, if you feel lucky you can risk trade runs across the continent or if you get a good party which we did yesterday uh, you can camp place places like Halcyona or uh, Hell Swamp or whatever wherever people trade you can camp there and when these places are in war you can kill the people steal their packs and deliver them for them uh, 
There are two ways of doing this. You can camp the spots where people deliver the trade packs, which is Solis and Inister usually. So you can wait there with your party and uh, wait for them to come to you. Or what we did yesterday for fun was you can camp where they craft the packs or where they are, they are, they are trying to load them onto their ships. Kill them there, steal their packs and deliver them yourself wherever you want. We delivered them in Solis yesterday, like twice. <laughs> we stole a few cards or a few uh, haulers. It's, it's quite rough for the people who are uh, being attacked, but it's their own mistake. They are risking everything pretty much there, so that's why I like doing safe uh, trade runs. So this was just a quick short video about how I made money or how I'm making money and I'd like to continue with the videos from this game because I found it on Steam. I knew about it uh, back then when it cost a ton of money to just get into but uh, when I've noticed it on Steam it was free to play and I was like wow I should actually give it a try even though there were comments or reviews that said about the game that it's uh, clear pay to win, it's uh, super stupid, whatever. I did give it a try and bam, suddenly I got uh, 450 hours play time <laughs> and I still enjoy it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, the stone is has been sold very fast. Um, so uh, I'd like to keep doing these videos I guess, talk about the game, just talk in general and hopefully see you guys next time.